Guys, that's $500 each sell for a little bit of work. That is crazy. here back at it again with another video and if this is your first time coming to my youtube channel welcome if you are coming back welcome back if you like making money online or you like just money in general make sure to hit that subscribers button and hit that notification bell to join the family and that way every time i drop some new heat you get notified now chances are you want to make money on clickbank you don't know how to make money on clickbank you're a brand new beginner you're dead broke so on and so forth whatever Whatever uh, you fit in, right, this video is going to be for you. And the same exact method that I'm going to be teaching you in this video for absolutely free, you need zero dollars, no money, right? This method is going to go ahead and allow you to make a ridiculous amount of money. And if you want proof, check this out. So why should you listen to me? Well, let's go to step behind the laptop. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Let's check this out. If you look here weekly, I'm making a thousand to two thousand dollars per week and a hundred to three hundred dollars per day. So as you can see, guys, this uh, same exact method is pumping out anywhere from a hundred to three hundred dollars per day. That's job quitting income. So what actually is it? Well, let's go to step behind the laptop. Boom, we're behind the laptop. Now, first and foremost, we're currently looking at ClickBank here, right? And the first thing that I want to go ahead and ask you guys, right? What is ClickBank? ClickBank is an affiliate marketing network, right? It's an affiliate marketplace where you can find affiliate products. Now, what is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is when you are referring other people's products. When you generate a sale, you get paid a commission. So with that being said, the first step is finding a product, right? Now, what we're gonna do is first, uh, you're gonna go ahead and actually click this big call to action button to the, to the top and create an account if you haven't already. And it's just gonna ask for your details, it's gonna ask for your banking information, so on and so forth. Guys, if you wanna get paid commissions, you have to put in that information, right? Next is once you actually log in, you're gonna go to the affiliate marketplace and you're gonna go ahead and start shopping different products. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and actually find a category other known as a niche that uh, two things, right? Something that you're actually interested in. And number two, something that solves a problem. Now, what is the number one reason why people make a purchase of a product? Usually to solve a problem, right? So that is the key factor. We need to find things that solve problems. So because I create content around making money online, I'm gonna go and actually pick that niche. But guys, understand this method that I'm about to teach you guys works with any niche, like any one of these niches, any one of these categories, whether it's selling a language product, whether it's selling people who are trying to improve their golf swing, whether it's selling people who are trying to lose weight, whether it's uh, selling somebody trying to improve their skin, somebody trying to jump higher, somebody trying to learn woodworking, it doesn't matter. Somebody trying to attract the opposite sex, all of this, this, this method is gonna work for every single one of those, right? So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually find a product. So I'm gonna do e-business and e-marketing now, for time's sake, I'm not going to go ahead and actually go through products. I'm just going to literally pick the first product that there is. So Super Affiliate System by John Cristani. Now, if you want to actually promote these products, right, what you want to do, uh, sometimes the best way is actually doing like the gravity score to see uh, what that means, guys, is if you notice here, 89 people, 89 people have gotten results, meaning gotten a sell within the last week. Now, the cool thing is, is that the John Crisani Super Affiliate System has 63 people, but guys, this is $509 sales, right? So, I mean, shoot, I'll, I'd rather $509 commissions instead of $12 commissions. So we're gonna go with popularity, and I'm gonna do the Super Affiliate System. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and actually um, look at the affiliate offer before you actually decide to promote it. So this is what it looks like. What this is, is a webinar. At the end of the webinar, they sell a $1,000 product, and I get paid a 50% commission, which is how you get that 50% commission. Now there's other ones, for example, CB University, which is basically, if I was to click it, this is a little bit different. This isn't a webinar, this is actually a sales video. And within this sales video, they're going to be selling CB University, a product that teaches you how to promote ClickBank products. 
Now, with that being said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually choose, as stated before, this webinar. So I'm gonna be driving traffic to this webinar. Now, as stated before, let's backtrack a little bit, right? First and foremost, the way you generate sales is we need a unique affiliate link, right? So let's just say I decided to go ahead and um, uh, promote this product. I'm literally just gonna go to uh, press the big red button that says promote. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually put in your account nickname. So mine is Eric S. Ellis. Feel free to put in my name if you want the commissions to go to me, right? But you're gonna go ahead and put in your, your name. And then what you're gonna do is you're, you can put in a tracking ID if you wanted to uh, promote it different ways, for example, if I wanted to use uh, Facebook ads, I might put Facebook ads for the tracking link. Cause I'm gonna be using that link through Facebook ads so I can actually track, right? But in this instance, that's not where, what we're gonna be using to actually promote this product or any products rather. Now, what I'm gonna do is once I put this in, I'm gonna go ahead and generate a hop link. Now this link right here literally has my unique affiliate ID in it. So. This link will make sure that when people go to this link, they go to the webinar, or if let's just say you're promoting a product that's not promoting a webinar, but is promoting just a sales video selling the product, it's gonna ensure when people actually go to that last up and make a purchase, you're gonna go ahead and get paid a commission, right? So we wanna make sure it's extremely important that we get this, this unique affiliate ID, right? Now the question is, how do we promote this, this, uh, this link, right? The way that you promote anything online is with something called website traffic. What website traffic is exactly what it sounds like. So I want you to imagine if uh, McDonald's, right? They have the golden arches. With McDonald's, the golden arches, how do they make money? People go through their drive-through. How do people go through their drive-through? Literally that sign has traffic going by and it attracts some of that traffic. It filters some of that traffic through the drive-through. And that drive-through is the sales process. So we're literally gonna be doing the same thing that they're doing offline, online. We need to find a way to, there's, there's, guys, there's millions upon millions of website traffic online. There's like a, like over a billion people who actively use Facebook. So there's over a billion people who use the internet on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that being said, there's billions of website traffic out there, right? So there's so much traffic out there. We wanna figure out a way to actually filter that traffic, just like McDonald's does with the, with the Golden Arches. We wanna figure out a way how to actually filter that traffic to our affiliate link, AKA our drive-through, right? Is it making sense here? So what we're gonna do is I wanna go ahead and ask you guys another question. When somebody is trying to solve a problem and they're searching for a solution on the internet, what is usually the first thing they do? Right. If you have a question, if you're like um, uh, any any stupid question, any question, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Google it. Right. Would you agree? Awesome. So I'm going to go to Google it. Other people may do YouTube. You may do Google, so on and so forth. If somebody asks me a stupid question, I'm going to be like, bro, Google it. Right. Stop asking me stupid questions. Google it. Right. So with that being said, that's extremely powerful. Imagine how many people when they're trying to solve a problem are searching for things in Google. So with that being said. Google and YouTube are the number one and number two largest search engines in the world. Now there's things like Bing, there's things like other search engines, but Google and YouTube are the biggest search engines in the world. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use those platforms just like, uh, we're gonna make that our main highway, right? Now there's different roads that we could use. We could use the Google road, we could use the Bing road, we could use the Facebook road. There's so many roads we could use online, right? I want you to uh, like follow me here, right? There's so many roads, we're gonna use the Google road, right? So that's where all our traffic's gonna be. People are who are on Google, just like that's our highway. And then now we need to put up golden arches and the golden arches are gonna go to filter people in. So for example, if I'm going down the highway, right? And I'm hungry and I see the golden arches, but I'm not interested in McDonald's, I'm gonna keep it moving. If I am going down the highway and I'm searching for, uh, or excuse me, and I see like Arby's or Burger King and I'm not interested, cool, I'm a little bit more healthy and I see Subway, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go to that sub, go to the Subway, I'm gonna drive through, I'm gonna make a purchase, boom, they just made money, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually filter traffic of people who are interested in what like what we're what it is we're selling. And there's a specific way that we're gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. So somebody's interested in, for example, obviously if I'm selling a make money online product, 
I want to go ahead and create, uh, or excuse me, I want to go ahead and find people who are interested in making money online. So people aren't interested in McDonald's, they're interested in the subway. People aren't uh, interested in uh, this specific thing. I want them to, ma I want to make sure they're interested in making money online. So what is the easiest way to do that, right? People are going to search. If they're interested in that, the question is, what are they going to search? So if you were trying to make money online, what is the first thing you're going to go ahead and do when it comes to searching on Google? I'm literally going to go ahead and type in the, what is called a keyword. So this keyword, let me go ahead and show you guys a keyword, right? How to make money online, right? That's called a keyword. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple more. How to lose weight, right? That's a keyword. How to attract women. That's a keyword. So people who are trying to solve these specific problems are going to type in these keywords. Now what happens, right? This is the traffic. We're going to go ahead and go to, we're going to, we're, we're figuring this out here, but okay. How to, uh, or, or how to make money online, right? How to make money online. So how to make money online. Now, what is the first things that come up? Let's take a look. So how to make money online. The first thing that comes up is called save the student.org 40 easy ways to make money quickly and what this is guys this is called a blog right so obviously you guys probably know what a blog is if you don't a blog is simply an article that is creating content and the content specifically in this case is around keywords that people are searching for to, to solve a specific problem so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually create a blog, right? That's the, that's the solution, guys. That's how we're going to go ahead and actually fil like filter this traffic. So Google's the highway. Our blog is the golden arches. And what we're going to do with, with the golden arches is we're going to attract people through our drive through So we're going to go ahead and give them a little taste within the blog article. And then obviously, guys, let's just say, for example, uh, we're going to find a couple of ways, right? So paid for search web. Uh, start your own online business. We have review websites for cash, Disney Vault, get paid, right? Kindle eBooks. So here's an example, guys, right? So let's just say I stumble across this blog and I see affiliate marketing, right? So I say, um, it says, if you've got a good presence on social media or perhaps have a blog website, you can start uh, bringing money. So that's what we're talking about, guys. We're literally talking about that right now. If you have a blog website, you can start bringing in money immediately by promoting all sorts of companies, products, services, or online offers. So with that being said, let's just say I came across this, this blog, right? I typed in how to make money online, right? I'm taking you guys through the journey of what somebody goes through. They type in how to make money online. I go through 11. This makes the most sense to me. I was like, well, I like to write. Let me go ahead and create a blog, right? So the next step is guys, what am I going to go to search? I'm going to search affiliate marketing. So it doesn't stop there. So what happens is let's just say there's, there's two, two routes that's going to happen. Either number one, I'm going to be searching for the solution on Google, or you can actually provide the solution with an affiliate link. So let me give you guys an example. So the perfect thing that savethestudent.com or .org could have done, right, is affiliate marketing. Okay, I'm interested in affiliate marketing. For example, the John Cristani course teaches affiliate marketing. So they could have linked this course right here. And let's just say I was interested in affiliate marketing I decided to actually click the link. They said, if you want, look, it says, read our guide, take the step further, set up a website, read our guide. Then I'll click this. But what they could have done said, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, click this link. I'm going to click the link, right? So they got me through, they, the golden arches got me, right? I went through the drive through Now the question is, am I going to make a purchase? I'm going to click here. After I land on the ClickBank link, I'm going to go to actually find uh, or excuse me, go through the sales process. So I'll attend the webinar. Obviously, if I'm interested in affiliate marketing, I'm gonna make a purchase. Boom, that person just made a $500 commission. Now guys, at the end of the day, I'm not the only person searching for that online, right? There's people on a day-to-day -day basis searching for all these freaking problems. So all you have to do is create a blog, right? And start creating content around specific keywords that people are gonna be searching for that your product solves. So if my product is solving how to make money online or how to lose weight or romance or whatever that looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and create a blog. And then once I create a blog, I'm gonna filter that content and that content is gonna go ahead and actually um, filter those people in and then I'll have my affiliate links in, 
Meaning if they want more information, because there's only so much you can teach in a, a blog, right? I can't learn affiliate marketing in the whole blog, or I can't learn how to lose weight step by step in a whole blog, right? They just give me some little tips, and then they're gonna redirect me to something that'll go ahead and help me get one step closer to my ending goal, once and desire. Now, now that we know what we're gonna do, how do we do it? I'm glad you asked that, right? So what I decided to do in the resources section, guys, there's gonna be a resources section down below. I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave an article. And the article is going to be this article right here. It's gonna be how to start a blog in six steps. So instead of teaching you guys how to create a blog, just to show you guys my blog, right? So wolvesacademy.com, I have blogs, I, I uh, publish content. So the best traffic for affiliate marketing, how to create a funnel for affiliate marketing. So obviously guys, I'm creating content, I'm selling products along the lines of affiliate marketing. So I'm creating content that people are gonna be searching for. When these people search for this content, it is free website traffic. Now guys, this is free website traffic. I know I said it was absolutely free to do this, but guys, it does cost money. It costs less than $100 to create a blog. If you don't have $100, there's something else we have to talk about, right? So what you're gonna do is this, right? The first step is picking a blog name. So how are you gonna go ahead and actually pick a blog name? The best way, guys, is picking a, uh, within your niche, right? Let me actually just uh, open up uh, Dropbox really quick, and I'll do paper. So the best way, you create a new doc. So finding your blog name, right? So the first step to creating your blog, guys, is this, right? Uh, what is your niche, right? So you need to first pick your niche before you even talk about a blog. Pick a niche and pick products that you're actually gonna promote within that niche. So let's just say I decided to do romance, right? Or not even. I'm just gonna stay congruent with what I was talking about this whole time. So making money online. Making money online. Online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a base, right? So a base could be something along the lines of, it could be wealth or money, right? So for example, if I go to back to the article, I have so many things open up here. So if I go back to the article, or it's not the article, right? I wanna see if I find something with a base, just to show you guys an example of a base. Um, we're gonna keep on searching. And we have life hack, struggle, no, we have the balance, legit. Okay, cool, so guys. Um, here's the article, right? And the make money online niche, right? So here's an example of picking a website, right? So here's uh, a base. The base word is money. The base word is wealth. So when you're thinking about your your blog name, here's an example of the base, right? So the base is money. And then right here, I did, uh, or excuse me, the name that they decided to do is money under 30. So their base of their blog name is called money. So money under 30. You can create a website called Money Under 25, or or you can uh, Money for Millennials, or whatever, right? Choose a base, right? If you want to do in the health health niche, right? You could do use health, right? So another example of a blog, a popular blog, is Healthline. So what they did is they used health as the base. Health, or not Healthline. Healthline.com. So here's an example of a blog, guys. They create content around uh, uh, around health and they monetize the website traffic, they leverage it and they sell products, right? So health, money, whatever it is, pick a base, right? So that's the first step. So the first step is, we go back to creating a blog. Where are we? So first step, finding a blog. Next is getting your blog online. So the way that we're gonna go to and actually get our blog online is Right here, we need to actually create a website. So we're gonna create a WordPress website. So what we're gonna do is first and foremost, you're gonna need hosting. Now guys, there's going to be as related, uh, as stated before, but don't even worry about doing this yet. Do this after the actual, um, do this act after you watch this video. But after this video, there's gonna be a resources section. There's gonna be a video teaching you guys how to create a Word WordPress website. There's gonna be a video teaching you guys how to set up a Bluehost hosting. Right, and there's actually gonna be a, um, a link where you guys down below can get access to Bluehost hosting. Right, so guys, there will be a resources section down below, don't worry about it. Now, basically, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need hosting, and what you can do, 
right, is with Bluehost, you can actually find a, a domain. So money, one, two, three, millennials. Dot com. Now guys, obviously that's, that's not what I'm gonna do, but I use money as the base. So let's just say I was starting a blog. I'm gonna search. Congratulations, it's available. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add it to the cart. I'm gonna press continue. So that's second step, right? We, we have the hosting now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, create the WordPress website. As I said before in the resources section, it'll teach you guys how to do that. Next is we're gonna go ahead and actually customize your blog. Now you will learn how to do that in the tutorial as well. And then um, there's also going to be uh, writing your first article. Now, what you guys are going to go ahead and do, guys, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick secret. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and learn how to uh, learn how to write blogs, just swipe other blogs. And this is what I mean. Now, some people say this may not be ethical. It is what it is, right? The best thing, guys, right, is going to going to Google.com. If you want ideas of blogs, right, go to blogs. Or excuse me, how to make money online. How to make money online. Spelled that wrong, but how to make money online. And then what I can do is seven ways to make money online. And then what I could really do, I could do kind of do a spinoff. So I could say seven realistic ways to make money online uh, under 30, right? Under 30, I could just put that in the, in the thing. And then what I could do is I could literally read this article. I could take the seven main points and then I can go ahead and try to write it better. So instead of you thinking, okay, what should I write about? You literally just find what are the most successful blogs that are already online and you write this content. Once you write this content, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and actually upload it to your WordPress website. Now, next is you're gonna write and publish it. So you're gonna publish it. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually start promoting that blog. Now, the last step is number six, right? Is make money by blogging. Now. Instead of doing whatever method they're talking about, affiliate marketing guys, we're gonna literally leverage ClickBank affiliate links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and actually have affiliate links. Now just to show you guys a way that you can completely expedite this process and make this way quicker, way easier. Now guys, I'm, I'm teaching you guys the, the free, the, 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 the DIY, the do-it-yourself method is, there's gonna be a whole bunch of resources down below. All those resources are gonna go ahead and teach you step-by-step -step how to actually do all of this step by step. I don't want to just give you guys theory and say, figure it out. I'm literally going to go ahead and give you guys a step by step in the description. Obviously, I'd have to create like a whole course about this. If I wanted to create a whole video, it's not going to happen. So this is just going to be a resources section. But if you guys want to go ahead and actually see what I'm doing, that is way faster. Check this out, right? So what I do, which I believe is a little bit smart, is I just create YouTube videos and I'll go ahead and um, explain what I mean, right? So I go to YouTube. I go to my channel right here. Right? What I did was the same thing. You can literally go to blogs. And when you go to blogs, you can read the blog. Once you read the blog, you can actually re reteach what you learned during the, the blog on YouTube, right? So here's an example. Best way to make money online as a broke beginner. I made that YouTube video four days ago and has 401 views or 701 views. So that within itself is free website traffic that I can drive to my affiliate links, right? However, what I decided to do is, with this actual uh, video, what I do is I actually give this video to somebody and I have them write a blog. So guys, you can actually, first and foremost, um, let me actually backtrack a little bit before I even teach you guys this method. Um, if you guys want to, uh, if you don't want to write the blogs yourself, right, you can literally go on something called Fiverr.com. That will also be in the resources section down below. Uh, guys, because I know some people are going to forget this, so all this stuff will be in the resources section. And if you notice, guys, I will write a health and fitness related article and blogs for $10. Guys, for literally $10. Now, I asked it before, guys. This is absolutely free. This free traffic method. You can do this yourself. But if you want to save time and you have the money to do this, right, guys, just pay somebody else to do it. Find a really good blog and then say, hey, I want you to go ahead and write this blog even better for 10 bucks. And what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and actually filter that, con that content. Your bloggers are going to start actually ranking. And when people start to search for how to and whatever your niche is, then your keywords are going to come up. Your article is going to come up. They're going to read the article and then you're going to be filtering that traffic to your affiliate offer. So you can have people write blogs from you on Fiverr or... You can have people write blogs for you if you notice here on upwork.com and I'll leave this in, in the resources section down below as well. People will literally write a, a blog for as low as $5 an hour, right? Next, 
is if you want somebody to actually create a website for you, a WordPress website. If you don't want to do this yourself, you don't want to go through the tutorial down below, then you go to WordPress and you can have somebody on Upwork.com create a WordPress website for you as low as $6 per hour. Or you can go to Fiverr and have somebody create a WordPress web, web, website for you for as low as $75. Guys, your website does not have to be the fanciest website. You just want to make sure that you create, uh, get something up there, and then you start publishing content, right? Imperfect action beats perfect in action every single time. So that's how you can actually pay to get it done much quicker and not have to go through the trial and error. But if you are low on money, you guys can create this yourself. Now, what I do, what I do, right, is instead of even finding blogs, right? I find blogs, but I kill two birds with one stone. I create YouTube content. And then what I do is I go to I go to Upwork.com and I find somebody who's willing to actually write an article for me. So for example, this video, right? I literally, uh, the best ways to make money online, right? If I click this link right here, I'm gonna go to open this up, right? I paid somebody $10 to create my YouTube video into a blog, right? So here's the blog. They created the blog for me. They wrote it for me. I didn't do any of the work. They did it. it. Only cost me ten dollars, right? And then what I decided to do is my web developer. Um, they literally uploaded it. So if I go to my wall, my blog, if I click here, this is basically a preview of the actual blog. So guys, look. Best ways to make money online as a broke beginner. So if people are trying to figure out how to make money online. What's gonna happen is they're gonna go ahead and actually search this term. They may stumble across my blog. Not only um, is are they gonna go ahead and come across my video, so if they wanna just watch my video, what will happen is if they watch my video, there's gonna go ahead and actually, it's gonna have a really long watch, watch time. So people are gonna stay on my blog for a long period of time, right? If I click here, they're gonna stay on my blog for 13 minutes. And if they stay on my, my blog for 13 minutes, it's gonna start boosting my blog. It's gonna start ranking. And then what's gonna happen is, uh, as more traffic comes, I'm gonna go to get more people that I'm redirecting to my affiliate links, right? So basically I had I had somebody from Upwork write the blog, and then I had somebody from Upwork actually publish the blog. The same person who created my website, I had them publish my, my blog. So I'm literally doing none of the work. All I'm doing is creating a YouTube video and having somebody else doing all the heavy lifting, right? But guys, that comes with time. What you wanna do is if you don't have the money to be able to do that, Start creating blogs, start start creating YouTube videos, whichever route you decided to do. Start redirecting that traffic to your affiliate products, get those sales, and then once you start getting those sales, reinvest that money back into your business so that way you can free up some of your time, right? So if you notice, I basically have the blog here that that person wrote, I didn't even write this, and then I have my call to action. So there's links within this, and these links, for example, this isn't what the links are, but if I wanted it to be, because it's still congruent, these people are obviously trying to make money online, so I can redirect them, and I can literally just put call to actions to my affiliate link that I got on ClickBank. And literally, let's just say every 100 people who visit my blog makes a purchase. Guys, that's $500 each sell for a little bit of work. That is crazy. Guys, that is crazy, right? So, um, Guys, that is freaking over $500 for 100 clicks, over $500 and I didn't even do any of the work. How awesome would that be? Pretty crazy, right? So with that being said, um, basically what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and actually find a niche, then you wanna go to find a category on ClickBank, right, on ClickBank, then you wanna go to find products, then you wanna start creating content around these keywords. First, you have to actually create the blog so you can either pay to get it created uh, which is the faster, easier route. If you don't have the funds to do it, there will be resources down below, links down below that'll literally give you the step-by-step -step guide. I'll get, everything I talked about, there will be resources down below. And um, you can do it yourself. You can start publishing content and then watch the money flow in. Now, with that being said, if you guys like that video, go ahead and smash the subscribers button, hit that notifications bell, join the family. If you guys wanna know other ways that you guys can actually make money on Google, Click this video right here to the right hand side. And with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys so freaking much. I can't wait to see you on the next video.